G'day guys, what we're going to be doing today is um, comparing the SDR Play software defined uh, radio to a reasonably good quality sound card uh, for VLF reception. Um, I got this SDR Play uh, some weeks back and I must say I'm fairly impressed with it, uh, considering the uh, the frequency range that it covers and the cost. It's uh, it's not a bad unit really. Um, there's some areas where it's kind of lacking a bit, but uh, again, considering the uh, the frequency range that it covers and the price, it's uh, it's pretty good value for money. Now, uh, a couple of people have asked me what it's like on VLF frequencies and. Uh, I know that I did try it on VLF when I first got it. I just had a quick look down there, and I just noticed that there seemed to be a lot of interference and a lot of a lot of signals that aren't normally there. Um, so it was kind of uh, getting a little bit of overload, I think. I wasn't overly impressed with it at VLF, but uh, anyway, today I'm going to do a quick comparison test at VLF uh, at the low end of the VLF range, where I normally uh, do a bit of listening. Okay, we're back again. So here's the setup. There's the SDR Play. Uh, this is the one that I uh, recently put into a, a metal case to uh, uh, give it a few less spurious responses. There's the uh, power pack that's actually um, 12 volt to my power injector. Now that uh, is connected to my very small E-Probe antenna, which is out in the... Uh, it's about... Uh, oh, six seven meters off the ground in the backyard all right and here's the laptop there's the uh, what you what you're looking at there just go back a bit the pencil there so what you're looking at here is DC to six megahertz this section here with all the signals is the AM broadcast band from uh, about uh, 500 kilohertz to about 1.7 kilohertz and you can see all the AM stations there currently listening to one of those stations okay what you're looking at here is the uh, a signal in Western Australia about 3,000 kilometers from from Melbourne where I am and the signal is just there at the moment it's about 10 dB above the noise you can clearly hear it I uh, cl clearly hear the uh, the modulation, but it's um, to me that looks fairly weak. 10 dB above the noise floor is actually quite uh, quite weak. All right, now what I'll do is I'll um, disconnect the SDR play, and in its place I'll uh, I'll put the sound card, and we'll listen to exactly the same frequency, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'll just uh, turn the camera off, and I'll come back in a second. Okay, we're back now. I've got my um, UR12 sound card connected. You can see the SCR play sitting there on top of it. I'll just remove that for a minute. Got the power injector there. Power supply there. Exactly the same setup as before, except now the uh, my antenna is connected to the um, UR12 sound card. That's connected to the laptop via USB. Now, you look at the spectrum now of um, funny thing about um, SDR sharp is that when you first turn it on it's always it always presents the DC there in the middle which is kind of annoying I don't know how to there might be a way around that but I don't know how to uh, how to correct that problem but anyway I'll just at the moment it's just giving the full view because the sound cards 192. Uh, kilohertz and uh, consequently this program will show you about uh, half of that about 80 kilohertz of spectrum so 80 kilohertz starting from here DC to the end of the screen here and it does exactly it mirrors the same thing on the other side immediately you can see that the the signal the spectrum the, the noise floor is a lot higher so it's obviously more sensitive but if you look at the signals here, the signals are all sticking up, you know, quite uh, dramatically. 
you know, straight away you can see here 60 kilohertz. You can see the Japanese time signal. Couldn't see that at all with the uh, SDR play. 40 kilohertz, Japanese time signal. And you can see all the um, submarine comm uh, transmitters as well. All right, now I'll just uh, turn the camera off and I'll just zoom in because I'm holding the camera with one hand. It makes it a little bit difficult. So I'll turn the camera off. Zoom into 19.8 kilohertz, uh, which is what we had the uh, SCR play at before, and have a listen to that frequency. Okay, we're back again now. You can clearly see the 19.8 uh, kilohertz signal that we had about uh, between 6 and 10 dB of uh, signal to noise ratio using the STR play. We've now got 31. 32 dB of signal to noise ratio and you can see the signal rising far up above the noise there that's that's the difference you get between using a 24-bit reasonably good quality sound card and using the SDR play at the at the low end of the VLF band I mean Obviously the sound card, the highest I can go with this sound card is 80 kilohertz. So I obviously won't be listening to any NDB signals or anything like that with it. But uh, for purely the uh, lower end of the frequency spectrum, um, this sound card is uh, far superior to the SDR play. Got the volume turned right down on the software. Alright, so how do we got? We've got a signal there. 16.33 kilohertz if you look here around the 15 mark you see that little signal bobbing up there every now and then out of the noise just just there that'll be the uh, Russian one of the uh, Russian alpha signals I'm not actually tuned to it at the moment there it goes you can just hear it barely anyway 16.2 19.8 it's another one there that one is uh, 21.3 another one here 21 no that one's just a carrier there's an interesting one that one sounds a bit like radio teletype I might try and decode that. I've never heard that signal there before. Interesting modulation scheme. It does sound a bit like radio teletype, although I'm sure it's not. Um, it's a weak one there. And if we go up to... Let's just zoom down a little bit. If we go to 60 kilohertz over there. I'll just zoom in a bit. You can clearly see the uh, Japanese uh, time signal and at its peak it's about uh, 26 26 dB above the noise it's peaking at there's another one at 40 kilohertz which we'll go to look at now go down Okay, there it is. That one's not peaking as strongly, but uh, still, it's about 20, 20 dB above the noise. So there you have it. Audio sound card versus SDR radio. Now, keep in mind, um, really, uh, the, the SDR play, you know, was really not designed to work down this slow. It only claims to work from 100 kilohertz to uh, 2 gigahertz. And, um, you know, as I said before, for the money, it's an excellent receiver. It's got nice frequency coverage, um, fairly easy to set up. Um, 
very, very sensitive. It's it's without doubt the most sensitive SDR that I've that I've had as far as uh, sen just raw sensitivity. In fact, sometimes it's probably too sensitive. Uh, but it is a very, very nice uh, software-defined receiver for the price. I keep I have to say for the price because obviously there's much better software-defined receivers, but they do tend to cost you know three to four times more. So there you have it. Just uh, zoom back out again so I can see the uh, DC line there. Oops. All right, there we go. So five kilohertz to seventy-five kilohertz. You can see all the signals bouncing around there, nice and clear. You couldn't see that with the SDR play, unfortunately. The only one I could detect was nineteen point eight, and even then it was fairly weak in the noise, and it definitely wasn't as clear and easy to see and spot as what it is uh, on the sound card. Again, I have to specify that the sound card is a 24-bit device and we're comparing 24-bit to a 12-bit SDR. There's a reasonable amount of lightning around. These, um, these orange lines you see along here of course, mainly these. Any any uh, horizontal line is caused by lightning clashes. The vertical lines are usually caused by signals. If I was to put that in the middle of that frequency range there, select AM, you would then be able to hear the uh, the lightning clashes. I'm not going now, that filter down a little bit seems a bit excessive. Now oh, down a bit more. And we'll just narrow it from here. There you go, now we're listening to actual lightning crashes.